Hey everyone, it's Tally. I'm coming to you from my dorm room at Agnes Scott College in Decatur, Georgia, and you're watching Five Girls Five Minutes. Five Girls Five Five Minutes. And don't edit the videos. This is Thursday. I'm Tally, and I'm back at college. I'm back at college, in my single dorm room, which is why I'm talking loudly and not worrying about my roommate coming in or disturbing my roommate. I have the whole room to myself, and I will show you it now. Woo! My room. Can't tell, but it's pretty big. I've got enough room to jump rope in the middle of my floor because I set up my rooms so that I have as much floor space as possible so that I could more easily host prospective students and also just have more space because I like everything kind of condensed to the walls so that I feel like I'm not cramped and like moving around, which um, happens sometimes when you got two people in a room and you're trying to separate out the room. So it just feels nice. I'm sitting backwards on my bed right now because um, there's nothing on the wall behind my bed, but was normally behind the wall, behind my bed, like these posters, which I'm sure you recognize. They, these posters, which I'm sure you recognize, those were behind my bed last year. Um, but now they want, I wanted them to be the thing that I see when I'm sitting in my bed or watching television. Um, and then I've got my Singing in the Rain poster right next to where I'll sit and do my writing. My desk is down there, which you can't really see. That's my favorite movie. It's my magic paper writing movie. So it's my little inspiration corner. I like it. Um, so yeah, so Sarah's question was about um, jury duty and how she was nervous about it and how sometimes if like the waiting kind of makes something like more nerve wracking. And I think for me, um, the big thing is emails. I know this is like really stupid because I mean, people get emails all the time, but like, like sometimes when I get an email from like a professor or something like I don't want to read it like I'm afraid I'm gonna be in trouble and usually it's like nothing and it's just a mass email to the whole class saying you know don't forget to bring your book but at the same time I'm like so nervous that I've forgotten a paper and the professor's gonna like chew me out for it I don't know why but it like makes me nervous and so um, that kind of stuff and so I, I don't know if that quite pertains to exactly what Sarah was talking about but if it does um, I hope that I answered the question properly um, and my question is kind of along those same lines is, do you ever like resist opening an email? Like if you are hearing back about a job or, you know, like you're trying to, I, I don't know, meet up with someone or like it's something awkward and like once you send that email, like once you send your email, then you're waiting for the response and then when you get the response, you're just like, I don't want to know, I don't want to know, I can't open it. Like it's just better like knowing it's Schrodinger's cat, y'all. Schrodinger's fucking cat. It is alive or dead. It can be good news or bad news. Um, yeah, so it makes me nervous. But anyway, I am back at college, obviously, because I've been talking about being back at college, so which means classes. I have class in the novels of Tony Morrison, which looks like it's going to be good. He dropped one of the books from the reading list, which is good, because we're reading seven books in that class. So, um, And then I've got my Old South, New South, No South class with my favorite professor, so I'm really excited about that one. It's, even though it's like the class is huge, it's crazy. I'm like, I'm not used to having this many people in a class with her, but she's awesome. And then my senior seminar, which is going to be a whole fuck ton of work. Um, right now I'm working on trying to coordinate with um, my secondary advisor as to like how we're going to work out the whole like him helping me with my scripts in addition to um, the workshopping that we're doing in class. Uh, speaking of scripts, I already have one done. Well, first draft. It's called Star, Two Gays and a Baby. Um, that's the working title. That was the title that I originally came up with, and I just really want the first assignment I turn in to my creative my se creative writing senior seminar to be called Two Gays and a Baby, but I'm changing the name. Um, so that's pilot, and then I'm writing a spec of Modern Family. So I'm doing a lot of work, and the senior the requirement is that you only have to write 30 pages worth of a script if you're writing or 30 page drama, which I think is kind of ridiculous because if you're writing fiction, you have to write 30 pages too. I think there's something wrong with that, but I'm writing two scripts that'll be about 35 pages each. So. 70 pages of writing. Let's just do this shit. Um, and then I have a film class, um, film studies class. So I'm excited about that. I just, I've got some good people in my class. I got to be a senior, so that's exciting. Um, senior investiture was on Tuesday, which means that we are like officially, they uh, are capped as seniors. You have like, they put your graduation cap on, you wear a cap and gown, and it's just weird. Oh, weirdness, I'm a senior. What in the world? Who made me a senior? I just don't even get it. So anyway, um, but I um, anyway, I'm enjoying being back at school. It's nice seeing everyone, and it's just so funny to like, like a friend will come up to your room, and like two hours later, you're still talking, and it's just so weird because that's not something that happens as much when I'm home, and it's just like all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, I just like miss talking to you, random person. I just 
missed you and it's great to be back and um, anyway so I hope everyone is having a great week I'm sorry we didn't get to hear from very many people this week but I'm hoping we'll hear from more of them next week and um, I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you all next Thursday bye